Gary, thanks for making it over here so fast. Absolutely, I was excited to be here. Did you trans, is, wait, is this Gary or is it Gary GPT? <laughs> yeah. Gary GPT, Oh, yeah. okay, that makes yeah. sense how you got here so, so fast. It's a feature in beta that we didn't want to talk about yet in the okay. keynote, but yeah. Got it, it's, got it's, it. It's time transport. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Now, Gary, I got to start with that opening video. We saw you, last year you were in video game form, this yes. year you're in live action. I don't know what I liked better, your sweet Stanley pajamas or Evan's wig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how does it feel to be a, a pajama fashion icon? I don't know if I'd go icon, but uh, they did expose to the entire world that how pale my chest is. <laughs> I asked the company to you know give me a tan, maybe some pec implants yeah. in post production. They they didn't do that. I, I think the the budget had been blown on Evan's uh, wigs. You know those wigs can yeah. be very expensive. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Right. Um, but seriously, one thing that I really really love to see out of your product keynote each year is that you focus on our customers' growth and success. How do you ensure that this is really at the core of our product strategy? Yeah, it's, it's in our DNA. It's who we are. And it's, it's how we think and how we talk uh, every day. Our strategy discussions, I mean, to simplify our strategy discussions, I talk about this a lot at work, the, the top level question is, what can we do that will have the greatest impact for the greatest number of our users? Uh, and and uh, it all starts there. Um, it also gets into how we create our products. We believe in design thinking, which I've talked about in prior Sweet Worlds. And that starts with empathy and, I mean, deeply understanding our customers. And to do that, we, we put in literally thousands of hours of customer insight, customer research every single year. So um, it's it's what fuels us. And, and again, it's, it's what we live every day. Empathy is when you feel what other people are... Okay. Um, <laughs> you see what I have to put up with? I, 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 I apologize. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. You did not hear yesterday. Uh, so, you know, we're going to talk about some of the announcements on stage, but before we do that, let's go back to last year. Um, are there any things, any of the, the announcements from last year and the developments from last year that stood out in particular for customers during the year? Yeah, it's, it's where to start. Um, and uh, NetSuite, sorry, I use acronyms, but NetSuite planning and budgeting um, has has exploded. Uh, tons of customers uh, buying that, and we continue to improve that. We talked about it today with uh, adding intelligent insights to, to that. Uh, NetSuite Analytics Warehouse has been super popular, um, and uh, lots of customers uh, buying that, and, and getting we're getting fantastic feedback on it. Um, AP Automation as part of our suite banking and, and um, has also uh, been super popular uh, and, and to the extent that we also got some feedback from customers of, you know, we really love that bill scan and capture. Can we can we start with that and then add the payment automation? We said, sure. And so we uh, released our new bill scan and capture separate separate SKU. Um, and, the, and the list goes on. Uh, NetSuite account reconciliation. Actually, maybe that was after last Sweet World, but before this Sweet World. Um, we lose track of all the things when, <laughs> when, when we release all these, these new things. Um, but yeah, the the uh, the customer response has been fantastic, which has been very rewarding. You know, we, we do a lot of research and um, believe that these problems we're solving, the solutions we're creating are, are going to be the right ones. But you never really know until you're in market. And once you are and, and, and see that it's selling well and customers um, are delighted by it, that, that you know, goes back to uh, customer success fueling us. You know, that feels very, very good. Right. We've been hearing about all of this throughout uh, NetSuite TV yesterday and even into this morning with uh, our first customer of the day. So it is very exciting to hear how they're leveraging that more is. of NetSuite in these new capabilities that we've been you know, developing and offering over the past year. That's right. Now you also talked about our three innovation drivers, mm -hmm. which is experience, intelligence, yep. and sweetness. Yep. Um, can you briefly explain the importance of each of these? Yeah, absolutely. Experience is um, it's all about just making uh, it goes through the users and being user-centered and focusing on their success um, and their their satisfaction and making it as fast and easy and enjoyable for them to do their jobs as we possibly can. Uh, intelligence then um, uh, helps power that up, Hel is a force multiplier for AI, is a force multiplier for experience, but also um, things beyond, beyond experience. You know, I talked um, in the keynote about five of our design principles around creating extraordinary experiences um, and intelligence or AI helps us do each of those. You know, I talked about doing more with less. Well, AI helps automate. 
Uh, I talked about being proactive. Well, AI helps us be more proactive. Um, uh, tailoring, AI helps us tailor. So, you know, um, intelligence is a force multiplier both for both experience and other aspects of helping our customers and users be more successful. And then sweetness is the force multiplier across all of them. It's our, it's, it's, it's why we exist at NetSuite. Um, it is uh, our biggest differentiator. It's our biggest delighter of our customers and users. And again, that you know, sweetness makes AI better. You know, sweetness makes an AI, you know, sweetness and AI make experiences better. Um, and you know, as, as I said earlier, it's really, it's not about NetSuite. I mean, it is because because we see it and, and we're, we're creating a solution that has sweetness. But the magic of sweetness isn't about us. It's because you know, that's how our customers work. And we're just trying to create a system that reflects that. My favorite, uh, my favorite metaphor that we've ever used is we aren't Bat Batman, we're Alfred. Yeah, that's right. And that's, exactly that's right. when you're talking about that, that's always what I think about. That's exactly um, right. What is your favorite example of each of these that is really representative of the excellence that we're delivering to our customers? It's like asking me who my favorite child is. It's just, just an unfair question. That's the next question. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to ask Fritz who his favorite employee is. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that one. Think about Can't that. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah good, good luck handling that question tactfully. Um, but uh, I'll give you. A, a, I won't say the favorite, but okay. but some some favorites. Um, and using some that we talked about today uh, on experience, the customer 360, and um, especially with the new UI that we're creating with the Redwood Design System, and bringing that out. And that's going to be out available to all customers in probably the next 12 months. That's our, our target. So it's, you know, we're super excited to get our new UI, you know, uh, start to get it out there uh, with customer 360. And then that will just be the first of many, well, really all experiences that, that, that use it. Um, on, uh, on intelligence, uh, I'll say text enhance. Okay. Um, yeah, we showed it yesterday. We showed it today. Uh, you know, there's a lot of generative AI you know, happening in, in the industry. And so, you know, it's cool. But... Um, we're not just using ChatGPT. We're not. It's not just like ChatGPT saying, you know, write me a job description. We're pulling data from our own NetSuite. You know, again, using that sweetness, we have more of the data that a customer or user you know, would need in order to create a great job description, you know, marketing description for a product, whatever it is, goals, as Hanif talked about, whatever it is. You know, we've got all that data, and we're teaching our um, our features that use text enhance to leverage that data. And then going beyond that, as Evan, as uh, Ryan showed, with Prompt Studio, we're enabling our customers to then further tailor it to their business. So um, uh, super cool you know, use of generative AI that I think goes way beyond what you know, we're hearing uh, in, in some of the industry. Um, and then uh, sweetness, uh, I'll go intelligent cash management. Okay. Um, I think uh, it's, it's a good example, and it's just one of many, but um, it's a, I think it's very easy to understand. Cash, your entire business reflects your cash. I mean, everything that everyone, anyone does, every employee is impacting cash, both, you know, they're, they're consuming some themselves, um, but they're producing cash in what they do. You know, literally every activity of a business, one way or another, reflects cash. Most of those business activities aren't reflected in a typical financial system or ERP system. You already heard my disdain for that term. Um, <laughs> Uh, so how can they properly predict cash if they don't have all the information, all the drivers of cash? We can. Right. You know, because we're sweet, because we have all the data, you know, we can create a much more accurate uh, prediction of cash and then help our customers manage it much better than, than any point solution or combination of point solutions ever, ever possibly could. Yeah, I love that idea of also bringing recommendations mm -hmm. yeah. into it, you know that the intelligent part, That's right. one of the intelligent parts of cash management. That's right. Uh, and doing, as I talked about, some you know, maybe not non obvious, non conventional things. Um, like I need to improve my cash. Who's going to think to say, oh, well, I'll um, sell the products that I have on hand so that I'm going to get del deliver more quickly and pay get paid for more quickly instead of just people say, okay, I need to sell more. Right. They don't think about okay. How can I tie across the product availability and um, and things like customer payment terms and and, and, and speed to pay and bring that all together you know, to get a different insight and then you know, the the recommendation and action on that. Yeah. You talked about extraordinary experiences a little bit already. Some of what goes into it. Maybe take a look at it for us from the standpoint of how do you know when something has met that goal of extraordinary? Yeah. yeah. 
um, it's you know certainly art uh, to it and it's subjective, but um, uh, I think about it as our goal is to delight our customers, and, and um, I, I use that term in a, a couple, couple of meanings to me. One, there's a model called the Kano model about um, needs, and it basically says there's some things that are table stakes, and, and you just need to have that, and you can't please people by having it, they expect it. You can only disappoint them if you don't. And then there are performance attributes, the more you have, the better. And then there are delighters, things people don't expect. Mm. I want to make, we want to make experiences so good that they exceed their expectations. And another way I think about it is, we want to make experiences so good, users have a visceral reaction. Huh. I want users to, the first time they see it, I want something to happen. I want their, their mouth to open up. You know, I want them to gasp. I want them to, to push themselves away from their keyboard and be like, wow, that's amazing, right? If we can get an emotional, physical, visceral reaction out of our users, that's, that's delight. So, you know, that's kind of the aspiration for it. Ultimately, we aren't the judge. Well, I mean, I guess that, that's implied in that. It's not, it's not what we think extraordinary is, it's what they think. And, uh, and so we relentlessly do, do research uh, with them and show them experiences and you know, can't always see if they're, if they're um, pushing themselves away from their keyboard or gasping, but, um, uh, but we, we uh, continuously research and show them uh, designs and get the reaction, show them a new design, get their reaction, you know, iterate on that. And show, um, so it's all about what users think is extraordinary. We need a, a an, a, an Apple Watch suite app that uh, right. measures their excitement <laughs> level. That's exactly uh, right. So yeah, I, I um, you talked about your disdain for um, oh look we've got some guests oh, here behind us. Sweet look Stanley. at that! Wow, in Sweet you're, you're P, your biggest the new, fan. <laughs> the newest addition to the family, Sweet P. Congratulations! Yeah. Yes. Oh, how, how the family has grown over the yes, past it's amazing, that's right. twenty-five years. That's, that's right. The Netsky yeah. family, the Sweet Stanley family. Yeah. Yeah, wow. That's wow. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, you talked about your disdain for terms like ERP and CRM. Yeah. People don't, we're yeah. going to go ERPing today. Yeah, that's um, right. I don't hear that every day. <laughs> no? Or ever. <laughs> um, we'll have to invent that. In, yeah. In, 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 but solving challenges by value stream, as you talked about on stage, how does that benefit our customers? Yeah. Well, uh, it, it, it centers us on them and what they do and what's important to them. You know, ERP, CX, HCM, those are, are industry terms. They're literally inside out. It's the software industry saying, you know, these are your problems and these are the solutions to your problems, um, which is obviously completely wrong. It needs to be you know, customer and user uh, back to us. And so uh, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, um, we said, I said, you know, we need a, a better way of thinking about it. And I don't know exactly what the right answer is, but I know those aren't it. And so there's some really smart people on, on our team, including Allison out there, who is, who is uh, on stage today, it took that and came and, and did a bunch of, of research and thinking and came back with these value streams. And um, I mean, one of the proof points that this is what companies do and our customers do is you look at the, in essence, org chart of virtually any company, they, it more or less matches with um, those four value streams. You're going to have somebody who runs sales or you know, a chief revenue officer. You're going to have uh, a CFO or, or head of finance. You're going to have a head of uh, HR, or, you know, chief people officer. And you're going to have one, maybe two, three, depends on the company and the industry, people who run operations, products, you know, uh, fulfillment, et cetera. So um, it's, it, it, it's, you know, that's what they do. It's how they operate. So we need to, to operate the way and you know, think the way that they operate. Um, well, and in one of the ways we're doing that is with the new field service module, which Allison also brought up on stage earlier. Um, can you just, as a reminder, we talked about this yesterday a little bit, but can you, as a reminder, can you tell us what this is and the benefits that it brings our customers? Yeah, super cool. Um, and it's a great uh, solution for the, for the cloud and for the suite. For any company that has people out in the field doing um, typically repair, maintenance, installation kind of work, you know, work on physical products, um, they need that's field service. They need uh, uh, a solution to help them them uh, automate that and make it more productive, make it more efficient. And uh, so it helps them in scheduling those kinds of jobs. It uh, communicates with the field person in the field through a mobile app. Um, it tells them you know, where to be. It uh, guides them through their tasks as appropriate. Uh, can help speed up billing and collections because the second you're done with a job, that immediately is firing off the invoice instead of you know getting back to the office and then doing your paperwork and 
Um, it also optimizes uh, the scheduling by seeing exactly where the field techs are. And you, you have a map view in there, so you can see who's closest to that job and, and you know, map them to it. Um, so you know, super cool collaboration across a company, across the departments, very cool sweetness to uh, provide better service and better utilization of the field service employees. Hey, let's not forget about developers, administrators. Totally. Ryan was on stage. Absolutely. You mentioned um, Prompt Studio, I think, yep. before. Yeah. Uh, but what about for, for Sweet Cloud development? Um, he showed a, a very cool little demo right, up there. Right, right. No, totally. Um, we're continuing to improve the, the Sweet Cloud platform in a number of ways. Um, I'll come back to, to you know, the Gen AI stuff, but um, REST APIs, for example, we're, uh, we've announced GA of that uh, now. So, um, but, you know, yes, uh, Gen AI is giving us an opportunity to help uh, make uh, developers more productive, too. And um, so, you know, as Ryan showed, it's, it's going to be so, a cool tool for him. Maybe, maybe Kendall and I can become developers. Ab with ab that. Absolutely. I don't know that you're smart enough for that, but I certainly am. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay, well, you, uh, you've talked about sweetness. Yes. You've talked about delight. Yes. You've talked about visceral reactions, and I yes. have to tell you, I had one when you walked in the room. All right. A, a positive one. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying that. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> First of all, the yes. fit. Can we please show the socks, the Sweet oh. Stanley socks? The socks. We gotta show the socks. We're the gotta... socks. These are the, the Super Stanley socks from uh, several Sweet Worlds ago when we were the superheroes. Yeah. So those are now my keynote socks. Anytime I need a little extra, you know, sweetness power. Yeah. Um, the I've buttons. got I've got the the NetSuite blue buttons. Yep. And then uh, I also have my Sweet Stanley Apple Watch band. I mean. You can get in there. This, yep. this is incredible. I know. I, 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 I hit up the sweet store every year and see what else I can get. Next year. And I now have, I'm not wearing them at the moment, obviously, but I have these sweet Stanley pajamas. I was going to say, so you said that you're not a fashion icon, but in fact you are because I heard through the grapevine that next year we will be offering those sweet Stanley pajamas in the sweet store. So you well. kind of are an icon. <laughs> I think we're going to wear those on camera next year. When we see you, we I, will I, be wearing. I, can no. we all three wear them? Uh, sure. I, 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 <laughs> Did you you call that pajama core? Yes, pajama core. I can reprise that. Amazing that well, performance one more time. Love it, Gary. Thank you as always so much for joining us here on NetSuite TV. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.